Welcome, welcome. So this one is a little bit repetitive from yesterday. It's, it's a combination of some repetition from yesterday and some repetition from last week. So nice combination. We, we really get a chance here to sort of drill our skills. So bar three of the B part starts off the same as bar one with our hopping around on the E string 033022. And then it's gonna play this familiar arpeggio pattern for bar four where we go 3A, 1A, 3D. And then back up those same notes. Yeah, so if this is starting to get easy, thanks to things st starting to sort of kick in and compound in muscle memory, we could up the click on this one a little bit today. Let's start it at 70 and practice it. Just to get our bearings, then we'll try to just make our way up to 90 today. the intonation and each time as the loop goes by and this gets a little bit more routine maybe you can polish and take that intonation up to the next level of sounding really ringy and sweet and then let's take it up to 80. that intonation thing during the loop because I was doing the exact same thing I'm right there when when it hit at 90 I mean these things the way that these arpeggios ring out when they're really in tune is so sweet on the ear that you can hear it when it's even just the slightest bit off uh, so don't sacrifice the intonation for speed if you find you're holding it together at a certain speed but then not quite at that next one up take it down to something just a tad slower than where the intonation is all held together. It's just really not worth it to sacrifice any bit of intonation for speed. Um, because if you're just, if you're throwing like jangly, edgy frequencies at people's ears, then what's the point in playing fast? So have some fun with um, the, the click on this, find your sweet spot, and then I'll see you back tomorrow for some more material.